Cool, so guys, uh, the reason that Mike's here is he's one of the guys who puts his money where his mouth is and supports legalization. So we're going to do a bit of a paid ad, not ad vibe here. And Dan and Mike are going to take us through a little bit about what Bovida is about, what the Herbal Preserve is about. And we're going to use the desk cam to show off some, some curing porn and that. We'll give it a quick thing and then we'll move on to some Kif stuff as well again. But I think this is going to be informative. Um, if, you want, if you want a product review of these things, they've changed everything this last harvest. We've been using these ex for six months or so now, yeah. and it's really, they really, really work. They keep your bud in really, really good condition in a glass jar. No mm. two ways about it. Mm -hmm. We've only just started to see a few of them going hard now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's what probably four months, five months. How long do how long do you say they do last? All depends on how dry the bud is. Sure. So the bud's too dry. It's obviously going to suck up moisture. Yeah. So you know. It's, but you obviously it's it's much it's much better to rather over dry and resupply because by resupplying you're in the safe zone so bring it down to a safe zone you don't want to leave it in like a too wet state because you, if your bud's too wet you, the stuff's going to develop temperature changes air pressure changes a whole bunch of things happen relative humidity changes and if you don't have something that's actually working to balance the reds of humidity. I mean, that's the whole point. You cut it at a point, you dry it to a point, you then preserve it at a point. And if you want to preserve it, you need to put it between 55% and 65%. So 58 and 62 are the two sachets. Well, let's what, are, what, are they, what, are they, what are those measures, those numbers? Well, it's relative humidity. So check it out on the okay, so camera. The yeah. um, so let's slow it down a bit, guys. So what we're talking about here is when it comes to smoking weed, you don't want to smoke it when it's bone dry or super moist. There is a sweet spot. Yes. And the point of Bovida is to get you into that sweet spot. If you're a little bit over, a little bit under, but particularly if your weeds dry, I find, you rehydrate your herb with it. Exactly. Yes. And now you're saying we rehydrate it at different humidities though. So yeah, it's sitting at, so that hygrometer over there, which you can get a green thumb, is uh, 57%. That's a 58% sachet. So right now, the sachet is putting moisture, is actually putting Adding moisture more. into the air yeah. so that it can get to 58. So okay. something is working for it. So, and that's an empty container, so there's nothing the else right inside there, so you the can sachet, see. Right? So if we open this now, this number will go down. Absolutely. So let's do that. Yeah, sure. So let's see how long it'll take. Sure. So we'll open it up. To see what the ambient humidity is. So now, now this raises a question about Who's hygrometers. There's a calibration kit. Yeah. Is that and just leave it to stand while we talk about it. Check it out. So these, the hygrometers, unfortunately, are like invariably like Not inaccurate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you, yeah. you kind of, apparently, Twice. analog ones are better, but they're a little bit <coughs> more expensive. So you might yeah. have to, but you test it with these. So you take your hygrometer mm -hmm. or hygrometer, depends how you said, and you put it into this bag. So you open up the bag. Can I take that? Oh, wait, that's stuck it's on there. Stuck Try this one, yeah. That's dead. That's dead. Is the battery? F so I've I've tested this one before. I put over here four yeah, percent. That I'll was the that. last time I was out. Just changing batteries here. And these things come in different. So there's different humidities, but there's different sizes, as well of these. So yeah, you can well, do. Absolutely. What well, was so that thing you showed size. us before with the box? That thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah so anyway, that's, that's a, a. Yeah, there is it. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, go on, go yeah. on with that. Check it out. One step calibration. So, yeah. Nice. So you can actually now test, so you put this into a, a dark, cool room, mm -hmm. and you leave it for 24 hours. What, the whole bag? Yeah, the whole Everything. bag, yeah. with the hygrometer, so uh, the hygrometer is inside you. So if is we this do new? It, I'll actually pull this out. Is this new since the last... Uh, it's a, it's, no, it's not a new product, but it's, it's been around for the ancients. Oh, uh, no, okay. You know, they All use right. salt, it's a salt-based solution. So okay, you, but no, I'm just... No, but this calibration I'm talking about this calibration, calibration bag. is new to South yeah, Africa, no, absolutely. There you go, you stick your hydro hygrometer inside your bag, you, and you give it 24 hours with it like this. Exactly, right. and, and whatever... Then, ex yeah. Exactly, and then so 24 hours, it should say 75 on there, and then you can then say that this is actually, like Mike has put here, Plus four percent. Plus four percent. So this is this will obviously much higher. So it's seventy one percent. So there we go. That's yeah. really cool. So that's a good way because these testing. these things here are generally not not accurate. Yeah. yeah. So you can there put better ones. You can I've put five of these ones. next to each other of the same brand. Yeah. And they will all yeah. be different. Sure. So sure. this is a great kit Every to time. actually yeah. calibrate it and see what 
you are off with every one of these because this exactly. could fit inside there. I mean, and it also fits into like a medical ah, practice that's, that's because really great, you know, yeah. oh, inside your laboratory you have to test I your hydrometers. How do you know that your stuff? Oh, ah, so you use it so to calibrate. Absolutely. Then you you Take have an extra one. So you you know that would be a part of spares. You'd be testing it as spares and then you plug it in and swap them. You keep swapping. Okay. Calibrates. Okay. So what are we reading here now? We've got 40, 49 percent. It's been going down. Forty nine percent. There it is. So now let's put this back in. Yeah. A fifty eight percent. Yeah, it stick this back inside here. Huh? And then we'll see if the episode is back up to 54 or whatever it says it's supposed to be. Is that 67% its weight? What is that other 67%? That's the humidity. 67 oh, grams. Shit. So there's uh, a weight, yeah. 67 grams. That's a 67 gram sachet which does 450 grams of flour. So uh, and then there's a 320 up. gram which does 2.25 kgs of flour. Okay. Which is which is obviously a which is what you're going to need if you're growing wheat for people. So what are we going to go? Up? 10 percent. Yeah. We should be going up. Let's how long it takes to go up 10 percent. What's the time? 10 percent. This yeah. is 1954. Let's see how long it does. How, how long, long do they last? So Austin's asking how much? How long do these last? All <coughs> depends on your container. So if you've got a good container with a nice seal, so like this over here. It's got this, this silicone seal that you plug it in and it sort of locks in the air. Mm -hmm. And obviously the sachet, that's less air affecting the container. So you're basically just pulling moisture. Um, well, you're stopping moisture from coming in and out. So you know, if it's dry outside, you're going to be sucking moisture from inside outside. Every time you open the thing, Every yeah. time you open it, you're sucking it out and it's got to work so it evaporates, makes you know, mm -hmm. emits moisture, pure water vapor. And this one here does two kilos. This is the big boy. Yeah. So now, if you put like, if you put that in a 20 liter bucket and then you put like five gram banky in it, yeah. would it suck out just about everything? It's would it be so powerful that it would take away like Absolutely. terpenes or? Would it Never. No. <laughs> Never. They've actually, that's a, it's a very good question because they've, they've actually tested this. And you can actually go to, the, maybe that's the place to go to is Boba de Inc. And I can even ask a question if someone wants to ask a answer a question. I'll like I'll donate a, a container like this okay. to the winner. Oh, nice! Um, <clears throat> and you can go to that on bovedeink.com. Here we go. Is that there? Cool. What man. is the? That's, yeah, that's yeah this is a great uh, podcast Here's to follow. A podcast. Lots of Another cool information with some very interesting people around the world who are doing miraculous things. Cool, man. So, guys, I'm going to have to cut to the end of the ad break there. Yeah. So, what we're going to do is we're going to keep this in the background yeah. and watch it do its thing while we get onto yeah. shit or lit because Dan's in the sweet spots already. Sure. Yes. And so, guys, please, we've got to check out the Herbal Preserver. We've put the link in the bottom. We're going to do some clever stuff about harvesting and curing and put it to the test in that. But one note I've noticed on these bovitas is if your bud's dry, don't expect it to bring back lost turks. Take care in your cure. You know, use Get the bebidas. They're excellent. Exactly. But a lost herb is gone forever. But these things really do regentrify your dry spirit. Regentrify. Yeah. <laughs> and also yeah. note that it's, that it's finished. Bring it back. It's a gross best kept secret. You know, it's like literally when we're trying to make it not a secret. We want everyone to know about it. Because yeah, yeah, once yeah. you know about it and you realize that you can't just grow a plant with water. What do you grow a plant with? You grow it with water. Yeah. You just give it water, water, water with new you know, special things that, you know, you guys concoct, concoct and you cut it off, you need water, you still need to supply moisture yeah, to dude. the container, but in a different way. Yeah. So to exactly quote Derek Zoolander, water is the essence of moisture. Moisture <laughs> is the essence of water. So guys, just a note, uh, as a personal con user of these, I, I live by them, you know they read, they finished when they go hard like go. that. Exactly. It's like a biscuit. That's when it's done. That's when it's ready to be pulled out and replaced.